Alright, good evening ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the weekly update, Frazzleberry's weekly update. Uh, today being Thursday, September 27th. Hey, I'm your host Frazzleberry, let's let's do it. Alright, so I'm going to jump into this. Actually, uh, I just got done eating a good, really good sandwich, by the way. Um, but yeah, let's start off with uh, Shippuden, Naruto Shippuden 281. Uh, this was filler, but interesting filler. Um... Basically, it was a Kon Konohamaru story, and uh, we're introduced more to the n the ninja moms of the main characters, and um, they're basically saying how they can defend the village. And of course, Kono for some reason, Konohamaru is the go-to guy if there's trouble, and all the kids keep telling them all these rumors. There's sum there's giants attacking us. There's um, ninjas shooting fireballs at me. There's like a battalion of ninjas and bunch of bullshit they end up going investigating it's a circus and of course ninja circus but um it ends up getting really weird because there's a uh, there, you know how we have ninjas samurais and all that well the third tier I guess is uh, sumo wrestlers right why we've never heard of sumo wrestlers before it was weird when they introduced samurai but sumo wrestlers come on like a squad of sumo wrestlers attack the village and um non ninja mothers which I think is kind of bullshit because isn't Sakura's mom a mother a ninja I thought that was the point of the movie or whatever or the uh, that one filler that Sakura's parents were ninjas and they were called off the battle or whatever I don't know but it's fucking weird um they had like they end up fighting the they end up kicking the shit out of the sumo wrestlers to the point where they end up running and then Konohamaru with it with a level one resend gun somehow is able to blow like 20 sumo wrestlers backwards and leave a crater into the ground. Like, what the fuck? How did he do that? I don't know. Weird episode, but I don't know. It wasn't really... It was random, man. I, I'm not going to say it was a good episode, but it was it was weird. Um, next up, we had Fairy Tale 149, which was... Uh, it's, it's getting better. Um, basically, Erza ended her fight this fight, or this episode. Uh, we had Natsu getting ready to fight the main bad guy. Uh, Michelle dying off, um, more friendship talk, uh, I don't know, it was weird, they're basically just explaining more about how the, uh, how Lucy is, once she gets eaten by this, what is it, a clock or something, um, then the world will go into a, a dream state or some shit, and, I don't know, fuck that, but, the fighting was decent, Erza versus, uh, that, what's the name, Viper, whatever, I don't know. It's okay. Yeah, it'll probably be better next week, but the episode itself was eh, it was one of the better fillers, I guess. <clears throat> it could be worse. Um, but then we had One Piece 565, which is eh, it was a really good episode. Um, basically, Luffy unveils a new technique against Hordy, which kicked the shit out of him. Uh, what was it called? The Red Hawk or the Fire Hawk or something? Uh, it's basically a big fire punch, which he does underwater, which is. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but I don't think that should work like that. Uh, then Hordy, of course, powers up even more. Um, Usopp's kicking ass. Uh, Zoro's kicking ass. Everyone's kicking ass basically, except for the bad guys, because they're just so outskilled at this point. It's retarded. <laughs> Um, I mean, like, even Zoro kicked the shit out of Hordy. Like, what would, if he was fighting Hordy right now? I'm sure he wouldn't be just sitting there staring at him like Luffy is. I'm sure he would just gut him out and like a fish or something, but... I don't know, it was a pretty good episode. Uh, then we had Sword Art Online episode 15, which... was pretty, pretty good. It was, um, basically... They're back in town or whatever at the adoption agency and... Looking in on their, their little UA or whatever and... Um... Long story short, a knight comes, they end up going on a little adventure to help her friend who's locked in a dungeon, high level monster attacks him, um, Yui sacrifices herself because she was actually a AI, which I called, yep, ladies, ladies, please, hold the applause, um, yeah, she was an AI who was built to, um, she was like a therapist or whatever, to monitor their, the emotions and stuff of uh, the, the the humans in the game or whatever and the psyche and all that see how that changes and she ended up seeing uh, the main characters uh, Asuna and Kirito they're, instead of being like all depressed like everybody else they were determined to like save the world and stuff so she was like fascinated by them and, um, she ends up dying 
they kill a high level monster and yeah it was, it was a pretty dark episode which is cool I like it <clears throat> I think that's it for everything I've watched this week um, as for games I've been playing uh, I, I don't really want to go into it because um, I'm gonna show off a bunch of stuff I bought this week in my new video but I will say I've been playing Rock Band Blitz quite a bit uh, I think that's really about it actually oh yeah was it no, I've been playing something else. What the hell? Oh, I finished up Velvet Assassin. Been playing a lot of that. But yeah, that's basically it for games. You'll see a bunch of stuff I bought in my new video, uh, which I'll probably upload today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's basically my week. Um, not a bad week. Yeah. So hey, Code Break Creator or well, True Player and Carta, are you watching the video right now? Hey, how you doing? HD Capture Card.